Yeah. Right, item number 12, Total Child and Youth in the District. Helmut. Good afternoon, Helmut. Good afternoon, Worship. Uh, Councillors. Is um, Dr. Coulter there? Uh, Dr. Belinda Coulter. Nice to see you, Belinda. And Tony, Senior Sergeant Tony Jurison. You want to come through, Tony? Right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, as worship and councillors. Um, so, just a bit of background. This is a follow-up from our um, workshop on the 18th of July, the Child and Youth Friendly District Workshop, and also um, a submission to the annual plan by Animata Cafe to progress child and youth friendly districts. Um, further, I'll take it as read if you have any questions for myself or some of our partners. So it's going to the next stage, is it? Is it, is it yes. the same here? Yeah. Okay. Do we have any questions about that or any queries? Councillor Jones? Um, just a, just a, a question, Helmut. Um, the option that you're recommending is that we take the community-led approach rather than the UNICEF approach? Um, UNICEF hasn't um, quite sorted their process out in New Zealand. Uh, overseas, they generally have a, a partnership arrangement with um, central government or state governments, um, and our setup in New Zealand is slightly different with TLEs and regional so our, councils. So our, pref our preferences for that first option, yeah. Preferences, um, and potentially down the track when they have got it sorted to go down the, their accreditation process. Okay. Thank you. So there's no UNICEF accredited sites yet because they haven't got the Not in New Zealand. No. The uh, Whangarei's been going through it for the last two and a half years, uh, but the, but UNICEF are still looking at what their support looks like in New Zealand and who they Once partner they set up this with. Up, they will put us in line to be able to be accredited. Okay. Yeah, so um, after this will be to um, set up that governance uh, committee at a high level uh, with Lakes DHB, Police, Council um, and Ministry for Vulnerable Children. Um, and from there to do a state of the child and youth report for our district. Which gives us sort of a baseline um, to where we need to go. Just originally I think um, Tony suggested there could be a cross-pollination with the safer community, safe community, or did you have an issue with that still? Or you know, we weren't duplicating things? No, no, no. The safe, you, you know, safe district. What's it called? Safe district. Safe district. So you're happy there. You're happy that it dovetails dove dove into that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so as part of our safe communities accreditation, one of that is to um, to implement programs and projects which um, address vulnerable groups yes. and children and and uh, youth have been identified as vulnerable. So it's around setting up a, a specific zero to eighteen framework around children and youth. Cool. Okay, I acknowledge yes. Dr. Coulter here today. I don't know, uh, Blinda, did you want to say anything? Oh, it's just really great, it's coming to fruition. The enthusiasm <laughs> that Tucker Council is showing for this is wonderful. Good. Thank you very much. All right, any right. other questions? Move, Move by Councillor John, yes. seconded by Councillor Williamson. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming out today. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Yes, carry.